Hey guys, what's up, all this is Sen5 here with episode 20 of the Play TV series and today, yes, today we review the man who gave an orgasm to Matt in Thailand in 2012. Yes, today we review Sergio Kunaguero. yes, the team of the season version. Take a look at that card guys, 93 rated, 93 pace, 95 dribbling, 95 shooting, 84 passing and 81 heading plays of course from Manchester shitty. Yes guys, uh... Pretty beast card, can't deny that. Anyway, guys, that's got that I used him. I used him sometimes in lone striker, sometimes in two striker formation. Overall, he was pretty fun to use in both. The price on PC is going around, I think, so 4 million on PS and Xbox markets. He's going on 1.4 million, but I expect him to come down real, real soon, guys, within a couple of days, I'd say. The trades, he's got the flare and the tries to beat offside. Now, what the fuck? That's a bunch of bullshit. He was so much offside for me, man. Can't even tell you. Anyway, guys, his stats, holy crap. Look at the stats. More puffed up than a junkie on cocaine and morphine. Yes. Holy crap, man. So fucking insane. Son. Look at those 99, 97 left, right, and center. Over to the clip. Let's talk about this guy in general. Now, where do I start? Yes, this one is for the pace holes. Yes, guys. Look at that. 93 pace. Feels fucking over 9,000. Holy crap. An insane fucking pace on this guy. I can't deny he's one of the fastest players I use. You might say 93 pace. Walcott got more than him. I know, but boy, is he fast. And he's just not fast, man. He's fucking silver surfer level fast, man. Holy crap, this guy is fucking beast. I mean, his pace was electrifying. For the pace of this would be a treat, man. His agility is pretty high. And you know what? His dribbling was silky, silky smooth, man. Absolute stunning dribbling on this guy. Skills come off really, really nicely on him. Plus, he got crazy high balance and agility. So, he doesn't go down that easily. I know he's not got the greatest strength, but still, he stays on his feet quite a lot for a guy who's like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, something, man. Incredible, incredible guy to dribble with and his pace of course is i mean terrific man the shooting was amazing for me as well i mean can't uh, see anything wrong with the shooting he'll finish everything you uh, just gave up to nothing so he's got 99 finishing so undeniably he'll just finish everything long shots uh, he's decent at long shots not the greatest not so hard as level not so hard as level shooting definitely but uh, pretty good in shooting as well does did most of the job for me and uh, his weak foot it says four star didn't really feel four star but it was decent not bad but uh, not really four star in my opinion set pieces well they were average not the greatest obviously pretty average set pieces uh, might get in the free kicks like uh, eight times out of ten maybe i'd say like that man his heading well i didn't really use much he's decent in heading not the best obviously 81 heading and uh, not great jumping so he's okay can't really deny his passing so so man uh didn't really pass with him so can't really say much but the big po negative from uh, this guy has to be his bloody positioning he's in that high end positioning and that shows on the pitch man sometimes you'd want him on the counter but he's sitting there on the halfway line flapping himself that's a bit of a problem with him his work rates are fine but his positioning though sometimes that's a bit fucked up and uh, he's most uh, often than not he's offside man what the fuck he has the tries to be offside trap but he's fucking offside man anyway guys the biggest positive for this guy has to be his pace his dribbling and his shooting a huge negative though has to be his positioning. Overall, I'd give this guy a 9.5 because he's pretty good. And you know, if you use him the correct way for his pace, his dribbling, and the shooting, he's pretty good. But uh, other than that, I don't think so his positioning the best. So yeah, guys, Timo Suarez is a better option than him. You wanted me to do that matchup, Timo the Aguero, Timo season Aguero versus Timo season Suarez. So Suarez is better for me. But this guy is okay for the pesos. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Peace out.